How are you today? I'm doing just great. I've been helping my mom bring some stuff into the attic, like clothes that don't fit and toys that me and my brother don't play with anymore. This is the last thing, my brother's potty chair. He doesn't need it anymore because he uses the big potty now. Have you learned to go potty yet? I'm somewhat of an expert on this subject. I've been using the potty for years. My little brother just learned how to use the potty with my help, of course. If I can help him, then I know I can help you too. I'm sure you've seen a grown-up potty before. It's also known as a toilet bowl. If you're a big kid or a grown-up, you sit on the potty or toilet seat, the seat that goes up and down. I'll explain why later on. Inside every toilet bowl, there's water. There's also a little handle that flushes the toilet. When you flush, the water goes round and round, then disappears. It's pretty cool. Now this is my little brother's potty. It's like a little chair. He would sit on it to go either poop or pee pee. You can call them other names too, like poopy or wee wee or tinkle. And some people call them number one and number two. The poop and pee pee go into this little bowl, which is then emptied into the big potty and flushed away. Going potty means getting rid of the poop or pee-pee from your body. When you're a little kid, you wear diapers. That's where the poop and pee-pee go. Then you need your mom or dad to clean you up. It's very, very messy. And when you learn how to go potty all by yourself, you'll feel great. You'll feel like a big kid. And everyone wants to be a big kid. Little kids crawl and big kids walk. Little kids babble and big kids talk A big kid is what I want to be When little kids eat, they need lots of help Big kids can eat all by themselves A big kid is what I want to be Big kids learn how to run and climb Learn how to sing and rhyme Big kids can throw and catch a ball A big kid is the best feeling of all A big kid is what I want to be Learning how to go potty isn't easy My brother Andrew had some problems But he does a great job now This is how my mom and dad taught him how to use the potty First, they bought him his very own potty chair, but Andrew wasn't really interested right away. But after a while, he would sit on the potty chair with all his clothes on, while my mom read him his favorite stories. After a while, Andrew got used to sitting on the potty. He would even bring it into his room and sit down and play. Most of the time, he would play pretend. He would pretend his potty chair was anything but a potty chair. Sometimes Andrew would pretend his potty chair was a jeep. And he was on a safari of Africa.
rocket ship that was taking him into space. this potty chair would help him to learn to go potty. But my mom said it was so Andrew could get acclimated. That's a big word. That means getting used to. That made sense. For a couple of weeks, the potty chair moved from room to room. First in the kitchen, then in Andrew's room, then in the living room, then back in the kitchen. Finally, it ended up in the bathroom. After a week or so, Andrew was sitting on the potty without his diaper on. He still didn't leave any poops or pee-pee behind. He just likes sitting on the potty. When Andrew made a mess in his diapers, Mom would empty it into his potty to show him that that's where she wanted it to go. Sometimes Andrew and my dad would go into the bathroom together. My dad would show him how he goes potty. That helped Andrew to learn how a grown-up goes potty. Next, it was time to see if Andrew could leave some poop or pee-pee inside the potty. I was a bit skeptical, but my mom and dad tried each and every day. Sometimes my mom would help Andrew by taking off his diaper and having him sit on the potty chair. It seems like some days, Andrew would sit and sit and sit on the potty and nothing would happen. Then as soon as he'd get up and put on his diaper, he'd go potty. It was quite frustrating. I think the most difficult thing to learn as a kid is how do you know when it's time to go potty? When it's time to go potty, how will you know? Your body sends a message that it's time to go. It may be like a push or a squeeze just below your belly, just above your knees. It's your body's way to let you know it's time to go. It may feel like a push or a squeeze just below your belly, just above your knees. It's your body's way. when his body was telling him it was time to go potty. And soon he began to wear big boy underwear a little while each day. When he would feel a push or a squeeze inside his body, he'd run to the bathroom, pull down his pants and underwear, and go potty all by himself. Andrew showed everybody what he did. Andrew is proud. So were mom and dad. After that, the potty went everywhere with us. We loaded up in the car when we went to visit grandma and grandpa. And we even took it on vacation with us. Of course, Andrew wasn't perfect. For some reason, he went to the last possible minute. His insides were squeezing so tight, he thought he'd explode. Sometimes, he wouldn't make it. Andrew would get upset, but Mom didn't. And you know what? Andrew did do it the next time, and he got better and better. Then Andrew wanted to learn how to do pee-pee in the big potty like Daddy. 
I made Andrew feel like a real big kid. Girls can't go potty standing up like boys. They have to sit down, which brings me to a very important point. Remember, the seat goes up and down. Before you stand to go pee, lift the seat up. When you're finished, put it back down. Now, after you poop, it's important to wipe yourself properly with toilet paper. I'll use this teddy bear to show you how. First, you get enough toilet paper. A couple of sheets will do. Then, you wipe your bottom front to back, front to back. That's it. The toilet paper goes in the potty. And don't forget to flush. You've got to wipe your bottom after going poo. Listen up, here's what you've got to do. wash your hands with soap and water. That's Andrew's favorite part. Make sure you scrub them really well. Scrub the bottom, scrub the bottom. 
the party. Now remember, you may make mistakes and have accidents, but that's okay. Everyone does. Just keep on trying. Soon you'll be a big kid, and you'll feel proud to say, "I can go potty." Little kids scribble and big kids write. Little kids scream. Big kids are polite. A big kid is what I wanna be. When little kids get dressed, they need mom's help. Big kids can dress all by themselves. A big kid is what I wanna be. Big kids listen to their body. Big kids learn how to use the potty. Big kids flush; they never forget. A big kid is the best feeling yet. A big kid is what I wanna be. Okay, now for the grown-ups watching this program, make sure you pay close attention. If there's one thing every parent has to know about potty trimming, it's this: it's not going to happen right away. Kids have a lot to learn, so you need to have a little patience. Actually, in some cases, lots of patience. Let's review some of the steps that my parents took. Helping my brother learn to go potty. The very first thing you have to do is get a potty chair. My mom and dad made it a special day and let Andrew know it was his own special chair. Next, let your son or daughter get used to the potty chair. My brother played with it for hours. It was like a new toy. Remember, you can put the potty anywhere in your home. Make it convenient. It doesn't have to stay in the bathroom. My brother's potty chair was in just about every room in our house, except my room, of course. It's also important that kids know where the poop and pee pee go, so show them. Next, have your son or daughter sit on the potty with all their clothes on to get used to sitting on the potty. And remember to tell your son or daughter what a great job they're doing. Get excited! Learning to go potty isn't easy to do. Those are some things my mom and dad did, and everything worked out just great. Little kids crawl and big kids walk. Little kids babble and big kids talk. A big kid is what I wanna be. Little kids eat; they need lots of help. Big kids can eat all by themselves. A big kid is what I wanna be. Big kids learn how to run and climb. Big kids learn how to sing and rhyme. Big kids can throw and catch a ball. A big kid is the best feeling of all. A big kid is what. I wanna be. When it's time to go potty, how will you know? Your body sends a message that it's time to go. It may feel like a push or a squeeze just below your belly, just above your knees. It's your body's way to let you know it's time to go. It might feel like a push or a squeeze, just below your belly, just above your knees. It's your body's way to let you know it's time to go. Little 
Little kids scribble and big kids write. Little kids scream, big kids are polite. A big kid is what I want to be. When little kids get dressed, they need mom's help. Big kids can dress all by themselves. A big kid is what I want to be. Big kids listen to their body. Big kids learn how to use the potty. Big kids flush, they never forget. A big kid is the best feeling yet. A big kid is what I want to be. You've got to wipe your bottom after going poo. Listen up, here's what you've got to do. Roll the toilet paper about halfway to the floor. Tear off some sheets, a few, not much more. Fold the toilet paper, make a loose pad. You did a great job. Your bottom's all 